the mother uh, stays with her friend who's the homeowner and both of them have a bunch of small kids and so that night they decided to go to the club probably around 11 left 11 30 that night and probably came back home at like two o'clock in the morning um, and, and also you know it's another sad thing uh, then go and check in on the one year old at that time. You know, our officers was not called until the next morning, around 10.30 the next morning. And so uh, that's when our officers arrived on the scene and found uh, the baby unresponsive. Talk about murder, if you will, because murder involves intent. So which did you all's belief that the child, in, that the eight-year-old intended to kill? Well, we did have some information that the, the, the eight-year-old got extremely agitated because the one-year-old refused to stop crying. And so I guess the eight-year-old took it upon himself and, and, and began to commit violent acts against the one-year-old uh, that the one-year-old could definitely not defend herself. And so uh, based off of that, those actions, the intentions, yes. Uh, an eight-year-old really being able to process or even have that much maybe evil in his heart to kind of do something like that. It, it's it's kind of, you know, we're still trying to process it as it relates to the suspect. You know, we think of an eight-year-old being the suspect uh, we've never had a case like that. You have an eight-year-old involved, you know. Uh, I don't think no education, no school, and no degree, uh, no training can really prepare you for an eight-year-old committing a crime, this heinous crime like this. But the DA uh, decided, listen, based off the reckless actions of this mother, uh, she was charged with manslaughter, and I think it was the right decision.